Hey, it's Yamina. I hope everyone is doing well. So today's video is going to be a quick one and I am just doing a video on perfumes that I am finishing up as quickly as possible. So let's see if I can get this to focus a little better. But this is the Candy Yum Yum perfume. And I've had it probably since 2017 or 2018. This is the very first regular perfume I bought in my life that I can remember because I first started buying perfumed oils that you could put on your neck, your arms, your wrists, and wherever else you want to put them. So this was the actual first one I bought when I actually started getting more into makeup in 2017 when Fenty Beauty came out. So this is one of my favorite scents. That's why it is being used, but it's not completely done yet because even though I've had it since 2017, 2018, more than likely 2018, I acquired quite a few perfumes after I got this. So this one is getting very low, but it's not there yet. The next one I have is Bon Bon by Victor and Rolf. And this one is getting low because it's a smaller size. I don't know if this is, I think this is larger than a travel size, but it's a very nice scent. It's a little rich for me, but I did finish a lot of it. I think I'll probably purchase this in 2019 after trying a sample in a little set that was available from Sephora. I forget what the set was exactly, but it was a mini size of the bottle that's usually in a bowl shape of this perfume. And then, and then it was something else. Then the next perfume is Coach Floral Brut floral blush and the reason why this is almost done and i believe i purchased i know i purchased this from ulta i purchased it by i was like going around the store testing scents and because it was in a pink bottle it piqued my interest faster i ended up sampling it on myself and i ended up purchasing it one of my next visits to the store because i'm pretty sure i didn't purchase it the day i got it the day i tested the scent but it was a good enough scent that i really liked it but this is, um, this is Coach's New York Floral Blush EDP. And I, this is one of my easy reaches. It's a very floral, I don't know if it's fruity as well, but it's a very floral scent. So it was easy for me to pick up and use on any given day that I didn't know what particular perfume I wanted to wear. So that's why it's used a lot. And I'm pretty sure I purchased this in 2019. The next one is Ralph Lauren's Woman EDP as well. And the reason why this is mostly used is because this was kind of my signature scent. It's a bit like of a, it's a woody floral scent, which I really like. It's less of my signature scent now, but it's definitely a scent I really, really like. Um, but it's, I prefer more fruity floral scents than a woody floral scent. So... I do have a backup of this one already though. I haven't bought a backup of the other three first ones I showed. The next one that I'm almost done with is Lancome Idol EDP. And yeah, you can see that it's mostly done. I already have a backup of this one as well. And I also have a, another version of that scent. I think they call them flankers. It's the intense one that I received. I haven't smelled that one yet because I wanted to wait to finish a perfume. So once I finish at least two more of these perfumes and I'll open one of my backups or open a new purchase that I made because I bought a few new perfumes as well that are larger versions of travel sizes that I enjoy. But yeah, so these are perfumes that I'm finally finishing up. I'm going to be trying to finish them up in the next few weeks. And that's the end of the video. If you have any questions about any of the perfumes I've showed here, let me know. Otherwise, have a good week. Okay, bye.